What's up guys, Zoom here. Got a couple duels here today. Um, just testing out my old Frog Lancer build that I showed off before. Um, just on the EU servers actually this time. Because, uh, I don't know, something's wrong with the uh, US servers? Or I don't know. But, um, yeah, it's pretty much just my old Frog Lancer build with titles flashed in for extra consistency. Um, going up against Mermails, so I definitely thought this was a, um, a good show of power. For sure. Um, just here, I didn't open too well, so I just went with uh, Swap, Ditching Treeborn for a Poison Drop. And then just left it at that. Um, I think uh, there's an important ruling here that I later heavily abuse um, with Swap, so it's pretty amazing. But at least in this case, you know, I, I love myself open because I have a Fader in hand, so... Um, he goes into um, Megalo right there, and then uses Marksman to pop Fader. Now, uh, let's see. So he gets the, uh, the the effect off of Dragoons and Megalo, and uh, Marksman there, um, pulling Spear, Sphere, Sphere, Marksman, and that. So just Dark Hole, um, Swap Frog again, just normal summoning this time. And then uh, swinging quickly for that little bit, um, he abyss spheres for a lind. And then I set that, and uh, just go ahead and bounce and swap. Um, he gets the effect off a sphere and lind, going into spike, um, dropping marksman to destroy that, and then pulling another lind. So again, you know the usual broken um, mermail mermail miss. So when I I take a, a good 21 here, but it isn't half bad, as um, one of the most beautiful win conditions, Dark Dust Spirit comes to shine. So I draw into a um, dupe. Uh, normal sun, or getting a uh, Treeborn out and then dropping Dark Dust. Um, he get, does it get the effect off of Lin for that. But then, just for fun, I'm like, eh, creature swap, I'll take your Megalo, why not? Um, and then use that to mill that, and then get out um, double Ronins, um, bouncing swap, going into Gachi, and then sitting on that because I do get Dark Dust back. Um, he only has a Diva uh, MST Heavy Storm, so he definitely didn't have anything to go for. Um, I pretty much never uh, went into any back row. Um, he overlays into Armor Kappa, which was kind of interesting. I guess, it, yeah, it does get the effect off of um, the overlay materials, so that's kind of cool. Uh, at least the, the Elanians get the effect when they're um, removed for overlay. Uh, I just go for um, Sea Lancer getting uh, Poison Draw and Dupe. So he has some pretty good protection, and I get some great uh, um, pluses off of that. Then you use Armor Capus kind of thing, where it's uh, you can discard one card, this turn, take the battle damage. So he, um, it's a Wabaku on its own. He uh, swings for that, uh, again, on Gachi, him being now at 24, but at least have Sea Lancer still at 25. Um, just go into some more um, frog shenanigans, but he pulls a double MST on both of my materials on Lancer. So that was kind of sad, but I at least got the plus off of um, dupe, searching poison draw, um, bounce swap, discard it again to do that, and then dropping dupe, bouncing swap, and ending on a one material gachi, which is still a pretty good wall to sit behind. So he gets a title and lead, um, he special summons the title, and I still sit on the gachi because I have dark dust to... Um, Hold me on next turn. So uh, we draw into Soul Exchange. I summon Treeborn. And then uh, do that. Clearing the field. Um, Ronin. I think double Ronin here. I go into Phoenix. Do that to attack for a very nice 5200. Um, also leaving him at a very low advantage. Um, again, Dark Dust is just extra beautiful because pretty much if you have a Chibor and Grave, you get a Dark Hole every turn. It's just so amazing. Um, but he goes for Title again right here, 
and then just attacks over um, the Phoenix, which was, I think, still a really good play on my part. I got to put in a very solid 3,000 on that turn. So I draw into Swap, um, Summon Treeborn, of course, and Dark Dust. <laughs> it is definitely um, an overplay tactic. You know, he pretty much Dark Dust and then uh, do double those, and then he quits at that point. We probably could have gone into Gachi, which would have put uh, Dark Dust at 3,000. Or at least at 2,600, and I could have even just swung with the uh, Swap Frog at that point. Um, or gotten another Ronin. I don't quite remember what my plans were right there. But um, we're going to go to another one. Hopefully Dev Pro doesn't hate me. Thank you. Um, versus Constellars. So um, this one was also kind of fun. Um, it was definitely... Uh, let's see. Wrong button. Um, it was definitely a really good um, trade like trade of power here and there. Um, here is the abuse I was talking about with Swap Frog. So I open up with Swap Frog and three other water monsters. I get, I'm get i able to get some amazing graveyard set up here. Um, I just heavy storm because I thought I could go into Gachi Phoenix, um, but I was only able to go into Gachi. Um, if Tidal was a frog, then I could have. But um, we just go into that, go uh, double Ronin as usual, and then go into Gachi. And swing for 14. See, so yeah, I get if title was um, a frog, it would have been perfect. Um, but yeah, so a good solid 14 first turn with a uh, gachi. I I say that's a pretty good trade off. Um, he goes Pollux and uh, Al Alpida into Abyss Dweller. Very smart move on his part. Um, I actually at this point probably should have baited the um, Abyss Dweller with um, a Treeborn. Um, which, uh, I think it would have been a pretty smart idea. Um, he goes tanky, um, and for some reason chains the Dweller's effect at that point. I don't understand. Um, and then Monster Borns, the Pollux, and then summons Kaust. Uh, pumps these both up to level 5. To get Pleiades. Uses his effect to bounce that. And then swings for a really good, um, well, just 17 because I dropped Trag. Uh, and then he destroys it with Pleiades. So I got a Swap and a Salvage in hand, um, which just adds to extra abuse. I go ahead and go into Dark Hole, um, but he activates um, both Abyssola and Pleiades. Uh, Pleiades bouncing the Tanky. Um, and he didn't even, I didn't even know if he had Dark Hole in hand. That's kind of scary. So I salvage for the double Ronin just to get extra abuse off of the swap. Um, so yeah, you get the, the swap effect, dropping dupe, swap bounce, swap effect again, dropping a poison draw, and then um, attack. And then I think, oh yeah, because of Abyss Waller, I wasn't able to, to go double Ronin, but then I normal summon the, the swap yet again um, to drop another Ronin. The frog engine is, well, okay, swap, flat out, is extra broken. Um, even though, like, in this case, the left missed up wide open, it was still amazing graveyard setup. And, you know, he was still able to get the plus off the bear. Um, at this point, we're both at 5,600, which I hadn't noticed. There's another point where, uh, again, where we're um, even. So I summon tree worn, um, and then do double Ronin, or triple Ronin actually, if I remember, and then um, drop swap, uh, ditching a dupe, and then we go Gachi, Daikusa Phoenix, um, detach for Phoenix's effect, attack into a Air Force. So that was kind of sad, <laughs> for sure. Um, but again, I still feel like I have... Um, extra advantage at this point. So he goes Tensu into, or Tenki into another bear, um, uses bear's, bear's effect to um, drop a gachi material, uses the other's bear's effect to drop the gachi material, overlays into black ship, um, getting rid of gachi, I take a thousand, and then he attacks over, he doesn't, oh yeah, he didn't attack over the tree more. So I draw into light and, light and darkness, which is another scary win condition of the deck along um, 
alongside dark dust because I can just sit on it forever. Um, or at least make him expend resources and then also it's a monster reborn. So he draws into a compulse, um, activates dark coal to burn uh, light and darkness a little bit, um, and then summons Sheraton to again burn it through a little bit, and then sets compulse. Um, I'm still pretty at you know as far as card advantage, I'm still pretty low. Um, luckily, I I was contemplating at this point. Um, using Light and Darkness for Sea Lancer. Um, but I was, you know, again, I was thinking I have Treeborn next turn, so let's just do that. Because um, I still could have just expended the uh, Light and Darkness for that. So it goes into Pollux. And for some reason, Light and Darkness didn't do it again. Anything? Oh yeah, because it was a normal summon. It wasn't really a... Uh... Huh. Anyway. Um, so he attacks over the Lad, and I go into Gachi. Um, so he, and then he increases each of their levels by one and goes into Pleiades yet again, bouncing Gachi. Which I don't quite understand that. Um it just let me have use my Gachi again. Um so we go Treeborn into um Sea Lancer. Which at this point um he bounces. But if I remember, I was still able to, um, you know, sit on something. I think I went into title at this point and uh, just attacked over it. And again, here's the other point where we're both at 42. It's like it was, this is a duel that was destined to be. Um, so I'm sitting with title on the field and Sea Lancer, do, or sea Lancer swap in hand. So I'm at, I think I'm at a pretty good um, standing right now. Um, title bounces. And I draw into another one. Um, so I summon Treeborn, uh, drop that for swap, um, dropping a Treeborn, going to Sea Lancer, he Solemns, and then I just said, okay, he Solemns, so I'm going to go into Tidal, and that would have been game. So, um, again, definitely these, this frog deck, or the frog engine, I was talking with um, Fla on Skype, and as a budget engine, which is the key word that he agreed with, it's kind of insane and scary. Um, I know there's much better engines, but you're never going to get an engine that good for that cheap. Um, especially, you know, looking at what I need for the deck. I already have a lad. Um, I have a track and a gores. Um, pretty much everything I might need is, like, extra cheap. So, um, you know, along with Chain Beat, that's going to be my next deck to build. Um, as you can see, up next, I, have a, I actually forgot I have a couple playthroughs um, from the, the title deck, even though it didn't quite work out, and it just ended up being a frog. Um, I'm kind of debating uh, whether or not I will um, record those. But, um, yeah, that is really it. Um, again, uh, like, comment, subscribe, follow, follow. And as always, this is Suyam of the Yugi Cast, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.